Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Carter. Welcome to Ultimate Energy Showdown, where we meet amazing inventors that could change your life as you know it. Some of these inventors are operating on the fringes of science, and we're going to put them to the test. Imagine a motor that runs on any liquid fuel, or a generator that harnesses the cosmic energy all around us. If there was any evidence that that was true, that would change everything. Well, that's why we've got the reality check meter, <laughs> to prove what's real and what's not. Let's go meet some inventors. Paul Pantone guy right, who's right. developed an engine that runs on any liquid? Any liquid. Uh, raspberry juice, cranberry juice, uh, pickle juice. I think it's the sugar. I you think, think it's, it's the, sugar. the sugar? I'm going to use Sprite. I'm going to use coffee. There's yeah, people absolutely. that run on that, so... Yeah, why not this device? Yeah. But he also, he can also run it on even uh, battery acid. Or a so combination. could you just dispose of hazardous waste with this engine? You just actually could. throw hazardous waste in and burn You could it? throw hazardous waste, any fuel into it, it will burn anything. You claim that your engine can run on any liquid fuel and that the air coming out of the device is cleaner than the ambient air that we're breathing right now. It requires, in this model, 20% gasoline mixed with whatever fuel you want to get rid of. And the air coming out can be cleaner than the air you're breathing right now. We've had more oxygen come out the tailpipe than there is in the air. Wow, that's awesome. So can you say uh, some of the fuels that you've run it on? Or? Crude oil and salt water, uh, pickle juice, Mountain Dew. <laughs> uh, we've got a few people tinkle in the tank. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow, so you could power whatever machine you want off, uh, let's see, uh, bodily uh, functions. Yes. Well, here's one thing I'm unclear on is that some of the fuels that you're using are obviously not things that traditionally we think of as fuel. Is the process that's going on in the engine, is that a conventional or enhanced combustion process or is it a very different well, thing altogether? This coffee you have in your hand might be put in that bubbler jar, but it then is vaporized, mm -hmm. then it is superheated and mm -hmm. accelerated. Mm -hmm. While it's heating up and expanding, electrons are being pulled into it to atomically break it down to a lighter element. What comes out of that reactor rod being fed into the engine with fresh air is a hydrogen-based fuel. So the coffee really never gets to the engine. The crude oil doesn't get to the engine. Okay. Only hydrogen. So you're saying it strips away down to hydrogen. It just Correct. changes everything into hydrogen. A transmutation of elements. Well, hey, uh, why don't we put it to the test? Let's try it out. You yeah, let's do coffee it. And you brought coffee. Hey, I brought Sprite. Oh, yeah, so we're going to start off with a little bit of gasoline here. Okay. What you got? Some coffee? So try the coffee. Coffee? Well, so, it doesn't make the engine too jittery. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Nice and bubbly. Hey, right nice and bubbly. We'll dump that right in there. Now we got a crude mixture of all three in there. Settles it. I mean, we just took a measurement. We can see there's clearly a, a, a major exo exothermic reaction going right, on right, right here. This is the piston where it's usually going on. So we're obviously seeing more thermal heat energy released right here. Right. There's something to this. Yeah. So this is where the plasma is being created, and uh, this is where the atoms are being ripped apart. So there's definitely something to this. Hi, right, Captain. All right. <laughs> let's put in a Ferrari. Let's go. <laughs> Wow, I would love to power my house with one solar panel. Well, I'd like to see one of these devices perform some actual work, like boil a pot of water or run an electric motor. Well, next week, we're going to meet an inventor that's powering his entire house with electromagnets. Well, I'd like to see it work. 
We're gonna find out who's the next Tesla. Or Edison. On the Ultimate Energy Showdown. The evidence now is really overwhelming.